And families from the Oak Creek School District met here tonight, meeting with doctors and specialists on tobacco products. And one teen told me about his experience with vaping. I've been vaping for about like a year and a half now. Isaiah Erke is a senior at Oak Creek High School. He tells me he vapes every day. I use either just like disposables, like Poshes and then like jewels and all, all that. What's your favorite? Uh, probably minty berry from Posh. Why? Yeah, just the way it tastes. He says he's addicted to vaping and can't stop. Are you trying to quit the habit? Uh, yes and no. It's kind of hard. Like after you take like a tolerance break for like a week or so, you just like want it like super badly. So I guess it's kind of hard. It's addictive chemical, so you can't really do anything about that. Erky isn't alone. Experts at the Oak Creek Vaping Summit Thursday said 27 to 29 percent of kids under 18 are vaping. Because of the different vape flavors and their adolescent brains, they're more susceptible to addiction. Teens become dependent more rapidly than adults. So what you'll see is someone who has tried to quit multiple times and they can't. Doctors say teens can't usually quit on their own. They need professional help and a support system, and they need to figure out the triggers that cause them to vape. I can provide the nicotine replacement therapy. Preferably, then those teens need to go to a cessation program. And in a cessation program, what they should do is help identify why they use the, the vaping device. Well, Caroline, talking about a support system, what about parents? What can they do to help their teens quit? Well, first of all, they can educate themselves, then they can take their kids to specialists or to doctors, and those kids can also be calling a 1-800-QUIT line that's called 1-800-QUIT. Now it's a Wisconsin hotline for people who use tobacco.